Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. My name is Kyle and welcome to the Slow Flow. Thank you for stopping by. It is nice to see you here. Today we've got a juicy 25 minute slow vinyasa flow lined up. And unlike most of the classes, we're gonna be practicing a really powerful self-regulating breathing technique throughout our practice called the Ujjayi breath. And with this breath, we're gonna to learn to dissolve and regulate any stress and anxiety that we sort of keep in our body on our mats. And at the end of the class, you're gonna feel far more confident with regulating stress and anxiety on your body off your mat. And if you are unaware of what this breathing technique is, do not worry, I put a link to a video down below which explains everything you need to know. And if you fancy joining in on our weekly classes, you can always hit the subscribe and notifications bell. Otherwise, when you're ready, you can grab your mat and let's begin. Hey, welcome back. Bring us off to a nice seated position. So that tall, roll the shoulders back and down. Rest your hands onto your knees. With your next inhale, sit up tall, tuck the chin. And with your exhale, bring your eyes to close. Take a moment to arrive onto your mat, perhaps shaking off the day, committing to this time as you bring your attention onto your ujjayi breath. We're going to try and keep that ujjayi breath throughout our practice today. Just notice how it changes your experience and that's the most important thing. There's one thing me telling you that it feels good and the next thing would be for you to feel that and really cement this into your practice. And if you feel yourself getting challenged physically and your heart rate perhaps rising, we're going to use our attention to keep on that breath and keep ourselves regulated in moments of adversity. Inhale to fill. With some sound, open mouth sigh to let it all go. Inhale to fill. With some sound, sigh to release. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky above your head to touch. Long exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center. And take a moment to set an intention for your class. It's always good to ground your practice either in an emotion or perhaps for someone that you know. When you're ready, you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we will begin today in child's pose at the back of our mats. Toes touching, knees out wide. Sit the hips back and reach your hands out in front of you. Keep your arms active. So nice and strong, pressing into the outer pinkies of the hand. Begin to rock your head from left to right. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Child's pose is here for you for whenever you need a break or for whatever reason. I'm going to rise up to tabletop. Now take your feet and walk them off to the left hand side of your mat. Walk your hands out in front of you, ground them. And we're gonna do a puppy's pose variation. So sit your hips back and flare your ribs out to the right hand side. Keep breathing, keep your arms strong, lower your belly down to the floor. If you need to, you can always rest the forehead down into the ground, just opening up the right side. Come through center, feet come off to the right hand side this time. Hands walk up, out in front of you, perhaps a little bit off to the right. With an exhale, sit the hips back, bring the chest down and flex out the left side. Wrap the right armpit down, relax your face and connect with your breath. Tabletop, walk your hands underneath your shoulders, keep your toes untucked. Inhale, cow pose, low your belly. Chin up, open up your collarbones. Exhale, cat pose. Now press into the ground, tuck the chin and curl. Inhale, cow, lower your belly. Chin up. Exhale, cat, round and press. Neutral spine, extend your right leg back to hold. Keep yourself in a square shape so you may need to bring your hip down. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, knee to nose, round and press. Inhale, right leg back. Now tuck your left toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Walk your hands a little bit forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, three-legged dog, right leg back to hold. Inhale, reach through the toes. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, shift forward and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg all the way up and back. Exhale, runner's lunge, right foot comes onto the outside of the right hand, lower the back knee. Now, you've got some options. You can stay here if this feels good, you can lower down to the elbows. Otherwise, you can take the hand, swim it back, grab hold of the left foot and work into your left quad. Really, a great stretch to work into here. Quite strong, so use your ujjayi breath, long exhales to try and slowly relax and release into the posture. Keep your chest open. If you have your back foot, gently release it down to the floor. Raise your back knee, hands down, inhale, look forward. Exhale, Malasana Yogi Squat, step forward, lower down into the heels. Bring your hands to prayer, sit up nice and tall. You're welcome to sway from left to right. Otherwise, you can just stay in stillness, just being with your breath. Inhale. Exhale, wide legged forward fold to release. Grab opposite elbows, release the back of the neck and sway from left to right. Heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Straight spine, parallel yourself to the floor. With a long ujjayi exhale, release and fold at the crease of your hip. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, rise all the way up. Exhale, Samasitihi, bring your hands to prayer. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, fold down and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, Chaturanga. Now you can always lower your knees if you need to. Lower halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Straighten the arms, squeeze. Exhale, table top, roll over the knees, keep them down, square yourself off. Inhale, cow, belly lowers. Look forward. Exhale, cat, long breath to curl, neutral spine. Inhale, left leg extends back. Exhale, knee to nose. Tuck your back toe. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, walk your hands a little bit forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, press the left leg up and back, even the way between your hands to hold. Relax the back of the neck, give yourself the grace to bend your right knee a little bit. Inhale to reach the left leg high up and back. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Keep the hips up, engage the left side. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg all the way up and back. Exhale, runner's lunge, left foot on the outside of the left hand, lower the back knee. It's also called lizard lunge. Now, options, stay here. Come down onto the elbows if you feel like it. Otherwise, swim the left hand back and get into the right quad, taking hold of the back foot, open up the chest and breathe. Now, this is where we challenge our breath and our attention. Soften your face, soften the breath, and use a long ujjayi breath to release into your right hip flexor and right quad. If you have the back foot, lower it down gently, hands down. Inhale, raise the back leg and look forward. Exhale, Malasana Yogi, squat, step forward, drop down into the heels as much as is breathable. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold to release, heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, step back. If you need to, lower your knees. You need to look after your shoulders. Inhale, shift forward, wrap the elbows in. With strength, exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, keep them tucked. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll over the toes, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog, Five breaths. Close the eyes. If you need to, you can pedal from left to right. And using one breath to move as you press one heel down into the next. Find a nice way 
which feels good for you that you can keep your attention embodied. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge, lightly step the foot in between your hands, lower your back knee to the floor, untuck the back toe. Now we're gonna do some rolling motions here, nice, smooth, slow flow. Inhale, crescent moon, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, half splits, straighten the front leg and bow. Inhale, crescent moon, shift weight forward, reach the arms up. Exhale, half splits, hips back, straighten the front leg. Last time, inhale, crescent moon, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, half splits, hips come back, straighten the front leg, release. Inhale, low lunge, raise the back knee, look forward. Exhale, standing L, left leg comes up, nice and straight, light on the fingertips. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold to release. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise all the way up. Exhale, back bend, elbows down, look up, lean back. Inhale, high mountain, rise through center. Exhale, fold down, bend the knees and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. Shift the weight forward, nice deep breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga, Dandasana, lower halfway. Bend your elbows to 90, keep them strong. Inhale, upward facing dog, straighten the arms, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog, press back. Five breaths. Close your eyes. This time you may want to challenge yourself in stillness and give yourself the opportunity to start off with slightly bent knees so you can get a line, straight line from your fingers to your tailbone. And then slowly with each breath, you can lower, lower, lower your heels down, feeling a strong, healthy stretch in your hammies. Last breath in. Last breath out. Inhale, three-legged dog. Raise your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Shift forward, lift the hips up, engage your core. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg rises up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot in between your hands. Nice and lightly, lower the back knee. Untuck the back toe. Now, nice rolling slow flow. Inhale, crescent lunge. Arms rise up to the sky. Exhale, half splits, hips come back, flex your front toes and bow. Inhale, crescent moon, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, half splits. Last time with your breath. Inhale, crescent moon, lunge, arms reach forward and up, arch back. Exhale, half splits to release. Inhale, low lunge, hands down, raise the back knee. Exhale, standing L. Press up off the left foot, keep the right leg nice and active, bring the right hip down to the floor, inhale here, lighten the fingertips, exhale forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale halfway lift, exhale left foot steps back, low lunge. Inhale high crescent lunge, raise the arms up. Now high on the ball of your back foot, make sure it's grounded. Inhale to reach up, exhale, warrior two, slice open. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, extended side angle, elbow to knee, arm comes alongside your ear. Inhale, skandasana to the back, shift the weight into the left foot, straighten out the right. You can use your hands on the ground if you need to. Exhale, skandasana to the front. Inhale, revolved crescent lunge to the back. So you bring your hands to prayer and bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Now, if you need to, you can lower the back knee to the floor for support. Otherwise, keep it nice and strong. Use that connection to twist and rotate your spine open. Release, inhale, star, rise up, turn the toes out. Exhale, hoss, squat down into your heels, elbows in to hold and release, hands onto your thighs. Shoulder dip from left to right. Close the eyes, connect with your breath. 
release, star, arms rise up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, slice open. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, plank, hands down, step the right foot back. Inhale, shift forward, activate your core. Exhale, chaturanga with control, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, power through the arms, rotate your elbows inwards, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, knees bend, look forward. Exhale, step jump or float top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge. Ground down through the hands. Inhale, high crescent lunge, power up and hold. Sink down to the front heel. Make sure that you're high on the ball of the back foot and square your hips off. Left hip crease back slightly. Arms reach up to inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee, arm alongside your ear. With control, inhale, skandasana to the back, weight into the right foot, bend all the way down. Exhale, skandasana to the front. Inhale, revolve, crescent lunge to the back, right elbow comes, left elbow comes into the outside of the right knee, hold and breathe. Now, if you need to, you can always lower the back knee to the floor for support, but you want to use the leverage of your knee to twist and evenly rinse your spine out. If the back knee is raised, or if the back knee is down, raise the back knee. Inhale, star, rise all the way up. Reach to the fingertips, exhale, horse. Squat down and release. Inhale, star, arms rise up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two to the front, bend into the left leg. Arms level out. Inhale, reverse warrior, turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side, elbow to knee. I'm alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back and prepare. Exhale, plank, hands down, step back. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog for the last time, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, roll back. Inhale, half pigeon, bring your right shin through and down, untuck the back toe. Now, you've got some options here, making sure that your right knee is on the outside of the right hip. You can either walk onto your elbows or lower yourself down. You want to make sure that wherever you are, you are able to breathe. Come up onto the hands, tuck your toes. As you exhale, press back to down dog, pedal the legs out to release. Perhaps keeping your eyes closed and your attention embodied. Inhale, half pigeon on the left side. Bring your shin through and down. Untuck the back toe and find a comfortable space for yourself to rest and relax. And release, roll onto the outside of the left hip. And you can extend both legs out in front of you. Give yourself a good pat down. Just releasing the hamstrings. And start off with a little bend to the knees. Get onto the front of your sitting bones. Flex your toes, arms rise up. With an exhale, shift the weight forward and then release. Making sure that you have a good belly to thigh connection. And then over time with a straight spine and a nice strong connection, you can walk your sitting bones back to a comfortable Stretch. Mm -hmm. 
and release. Inhale to roll up. And as you exhale, lower down. Draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze. Raise the heels up to the sky. Coming to happy baby, last posture. Taking the outer blades of the feet. You want to draw down on the knees. Tuck your chin. And as you gently press up with the heels, try and flatten the tailbone onto the floor. Close your eyes. Nice long breaths, perhaps adding a little rock from left to right. And release, draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a giant squeeze of gratitude. Inhale, raise your forehead up towards your knees. With a long exhale, release and relax into Shavasana. Well done. Take up some much needed space. Relax your toes, relax your fingers and relax your nose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, surrender to your mat. Take a few rounds of quiet meditative breaths, just allowing yourself some time to soak your practice up. And see if you can keep your intention or your attention embodied as you rest and relax. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. It's always good to get in a few more breaths. And thank you so much for putting such beautiful effort into your self-practice, into your body, and into this channel. It is so greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, I will be down below. Even if you just want to say hello or join the community, always great to hear from you. Otherwise, I'll see you here next time on your mat. Namaste.